Hey YouTube, I'm Daver. I'm Jer. And we're the Fragrance Bros. Bros. Hiya. <laughs> Coming at you again with another non-review this time on... This is for the ladies. For the ladies. 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 We have a uh, top five women's scents. Mm -hmm. Ladies, we have heard your, your cry and <laughs> we're answering in return. We're not leaving you out. Right. We know we are for the bros. Right. We are for the men, but we also are for the ladies as well. Yep. And we are both married, so sorry, ladies. That's right. We are both married, but we try to get our wives into uh, yeah. to fragrances as much as we can. <clears throat> I think that we both kind of like them more than our wives do. I know I do. Yeah. Uh, but we're always on the lookout for a good fragrance that our wife is going to like. Yeah. My wife is really coming along. Yeah. A lot. Like she, but I don't know if it's a woman thing or not. I have trouble picking out notes. Her nose is. Very strong. She can pick out notes like crazy. And when she smells a new thing she likes, she wants it. So I see her wardrobe growing. Yeah. Come birthday time. Don't play this before. Don't air this before her birthday. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Why don't you start us off? All right. All right. So uh, number five for me is Euphoria by Calvin Klein. Um, let me back up a little bit. My list is going to be limited because my wife only has a certain number of fragrances. Yeah. And so I've smelled a few things on her and a few things at the store. Right. Same here. Uh, so, you know, I don't have a lot to pick from, but... What I am picking from, I know that I, I know that I like. So, uh, Euphoria by Calvin Klein. Um, <clears throat> it's different from the uh, from the men's version. Obviously, it's not very similar, but it's got uh, it's got like almost a it's like a, a little bit of a unisex thing or a little bit of a masculine undertone in there. Okay, which makes it interesting. It's not that same sort of sweet, fruity, powdery thing you get for women all the time. Yeah, I'm looking at you, Chanel fragrances for women. <laughs> God, that's so awful. Dank. They do. Um, but my wife had, I got a sample of this from okay. Belks and my wife wore it and she really liked it. I didn't like it at first, but as it dried down, it grew on me and then she wore it some more. It's good. It's good nice. Stuff. Uh, my first one is Womanity by Thierry Mugler. Mm. Really, really nice. Fig based fragrance. Uh, fig and caviar are, are the notes. Um, it's not, it's unlike a traditional fig based fragrance because mm -hmm. a lot of times fig based fragrances are based more on the leaves. Yeah. But this one is on the fruit, I believe, because there's, I have a fig tree, and it doesn't smell anything like the leaves do. <laughs> fig leaves smell kind of like a real herbaceous, nutty, mm -hmm. um, yeah. coconut type smell that that you move between your fingers. That's right. Fairly. That's right. Until you find more words to keep talking about. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but this one is this one is really sweet and uh, almost like a. I don't know what it is. It's almost like a berry, but it has a little bit of saltiness from the, the caviar. Yeah, it's bizarre, but it's really nice. It reminds me a little bit, a little bit of the uh, the grapefruit note from Bulgari Aquamarine. That saltiness. In yeah, there. yeah, I can see that. I mean, they're not similar fragrances, but there's something in there. There's a like a sweet sweetness and a saltiness. Mm. Yeah, it's good stuff. Maybe a little woodiness or something in there. There's something in there, and the bottles are amazing. Yeah, the bottles are even the decants are amazing. Yeah, it's got it's got like an alien head or something like that. Something. It's awesome. It's a woman. It's womanity. Mystery solved. All right, uh, number four, Burberry, the beat for women. Yeah. Uh, nothing like the men's version again, except yep. the bottle looks identical. Um, but it's a, it's a powdery fragrance, so my wife is very light. It's mm -hmm. hard to pick up, so it makes me want to get close to her, which I am down for. 24 <laughs> ship. You hear me? Uh, it's just a good, it's kind of, I think it's probably a safe woman's scent. Yeah. But I like it. I like it. It's really nice. I know they have two different versions. They have an Eau de Toilette mm. and an Eau de Parfum as well. She wears the EDP. Okay. As a reference. Nice. Yeah. Uh, my next one is Taj Sunset by Escada. I'm not a big fan of Escada. I don't really like Escada's fragrances because they only have, they have limited releases every year. Yeah. I'm tardy. Their stuff is always, to me, very sweet. Sugary sweet. Very sweet. But this one's really nice. It's kind of like a tropical type um, fruit smell. Okay. And... Um, my wife loves it. It doesn't... Okay, it smells... To me, it smells a little cheap for the for the price of what you're spending, so we don't have a bottle yet. I'm going to wait till it goes to Marshall's because it will because it's a Scotta. So whenever it gets discontinued, <laughs> I'm snagging that beast. Boom! <laughs> Calling it. So. All right. Uh, number three, which I've only smelled once. I will admit, I only smelled once at a store, but it floored me, which is... Uh, Angel, the Sun Essence Limited Edition. Ah, yes. It looks, if, you probably, if you've seen it, it looks like the original Angel bottle with a star, except that it's uh, green and kind of fading to like a silver color towards the bottom. It smells like Angel. You know what? It's really like the, it's really just like the Angel Men to Sun Essence version. It, it smells similar. There's a lot of similarities, but it's lighter. And to me, there's a, there's a masculine undertone, like a woody, um, 
like a smokiness almost to it. Okay. God, it's amazing. I think it smells great. I got to smell it on my wife. Nice. It could be stank on her, but I mean, like, from the bottle, it's nice. Did you get a decant of that? No. The women at our Belks, not that helpful with the decants. They don't like to make samples. Nope. They suck. They do like to complain, though. They do. They do. <laughs> they do. <laughs> Hate <All> my faces. <laughs> my next one is Light Blue by uh, Dolce & Gabbana. Mm-hmm. That one's really nice. The same person who made Dol- uh, Light Blue by Dolce & Gabbana also made Versace Mano Fresh. So they smell really similar. Mm-hmm. There's only a couple of differences. This one has just a little bit, has a little bit more floral and a little bit more powdery, and that's about it. And there's not, it's not as aromatic as uh, Ofrice is. Yeah. But um, still, really, really nice. Of course, yeah. I love Ofrice, so I love this. Right. On uh, on my wife. So there's a, one of my coworkers uh, who's a woman. This is her. She has like some sensitive skin issues, and this is the only fragrance she can wear that doesn't that doesn't irritate her skin. Really? Yeah. So I'm very familiar with it because she wears it mm. all the time. So I almost don't detect it because every day she smells like that. So yeah. it's just become part of like a smell of the office. Mm-hmm. So I can't even pick it up. But apparently it's good on the skin. For, for sensitive skin. Nice. All right, my number two <laughs> is Womanity by Terry McLean. Hey. Uh, my wife uh, is getting this for her birthday in about five days. Uh, I love the smell of it. Oddly enough, I did some looking online. It is not very popular. At least yeah, I know. That's a strange thing. It's getting worn out online. Yeah. Which, I mean, people call it like foul smelling. I think it smells amazing. I don't know what I'm missing. Um, but um, the bottles, I think most of the bottles are refillable. Yeah. So that's cool. Um, I just, again, we've already talked about the scent. But I love it. It's good stuff. Yeah. Awesome. It's funny. I have a funny story about Womanity. The first time I smelled Womanity mm-hmm. was on this... Um, this gay guy at a Sephora who uh, was super friendly. He was really nice, but he was wearing Womanity. And, uh, You're still a man with male chemistry. Yeah. I don't know. I, if you can pull, I mean, so I know some men who pull off women's fragrances like Black Orchid by Tom Ford. That's yeah. a woman's fragrance. Some people do it. But to me, Womanity doesn't smell unisex at all. It smells womanly. No, but quick shout out to Mr. Joe on the Elizabeth Arden's green tea. Yeah. It smells yes. really good, man. Good call. Stuff smells great. It does smell good. Carry on. Uh, <laughs> carry on, my wayward son. <laughs> my next one is Versace Versus. Mm. And I only got to smell this uh, once or twice. And uh, it was amazing. Yeah. It has like a kumquat type thing, apparently. Wow, okay. And uh, I looked it up. Okay, yeah, I have no idea what that was. Like. <laughs> oh, odd. But it's really fruity and sweet. And then it apparently... Um, I think it. I think it, it dries down to a little bit more, a little bit of vanilla. Don't tell my wife because she hates vanilla. But uh, uh, it's really nice. I've seen this at like bargain bin yeah. shopping places before, mm-hmm. so you can find it pretty cheaply. I don't know if they discontinued it or what, but it is super, super nice. Yeah. I love sweet, fruity fragrances on my wife. So yeah. most of these are going to be sweet. They're going to be fruity. Yeah, that's what I prefer. I think it was like twenty five bucks for like a. Like 100 mil, probably. Yeah, I think so. It's really really cheap. At, at like a Marshalls or a TJ Maxx. Yeah. Maybe it is discontinued. I've never seen it in a department store. Yeah. It's awesome. Okay. Anyways, my number one is uh, Angel by Terry McGlade. Um This was the first, uh, a little backstory to just give you some understanding. Uh, when I met my wife and we were dating and, getting, and engaged, she described this perfume to me. And she said that uh, a woman that she knew had worn it. And she had asked her what it was. And the woman said that she didn't know the name, but it was in a star bottle. I, I had searched high and low to figure out what this was because at the time, uh, you know, the, the internet wasn't quite as prevalent as it is now. It's hard, it was hard to find. I found it. I bought it for her. And that kind of sealed the deal. For us. <laughs> nice. She, she, to this day, she will tell you that's one of the things that she loved, that I, that I found that thing that was important to her that she wanted to find and bought it for her. Nice. It smells great on her. Um, I love the smell. I, to me, it's almost it, it's sensual. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's, it's very, it's almost a little masculine, which makes me sound gay, but you know what? I, my point is that it's not just typical sweet thing. There's yeah. something in it that's deeper and more complex, and I like it on her, man. Cause yeah. Stuff. I've seen uh, on Fragrantica, this is another one that gets worn out all the time. People hate it. Yeah, people suck. It's weird. I don't know. Like, especially on Fragrantica, there are about a million notes listed yeah. on this one. Yeah. Everything from like, Honey to chocolate to cotton candy to I don't know what else. Cabbage. I think milk is on there. It's the weirdest thing. You know what though? The Terry Bouglay fragrances are polarizing. Yeah. You know because it's like love them or leave them for the most part. They are different. Yeah. They are different. So I can see how this probably gets more play from Terry Bouglay than Angel Men mm-hmm. because I personally think that um, 
I don't know. I can't prove this, mm-hmm. but I think that probably women probably wear more fragrances than men do. So it probably gets more polarizing views because there are more women mm-hmm. who have tried it than men. Maybe so. Uh, but I can totally see what you're talking about with the kind of unisex thing. Yeah. I, I think it's womanly, mm-hmm. but it's a gourmand. So gourmands are, gar- are gourmands. Right. You know, th- there's not really as much of a an association with masculine or feminine as there are with certain other things like wood. Right. Florals can be floral. you know, feminine, but chocolate is chocolate. Caramel is caramel. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I Interesting. I had a uh, vial of this for my wife. Mm-hmm. And we tried it, and it smelled amazing on her on the on the opening, and it projects like a beast. Us, dude. She would she would put it on in the bathroom. I would smell her in like the office, and you can't yeah. you can't tell how far that is. But that's a long way away. Yeah. And um, which is a good thing because man, this stuff is pricey. Yeah, you know? it is. It really is. But when it dried down on my wife, I got like patchouli mostly, mm-hmm. and then it smelled really like dirt on her. <laughs> so. <laughs> So I don't know why... Unappealing. <laughs> yeah, it's not appealing to me. Like, if it kept all it did on the opening and the heart, that would have been yeah. amazing, but it didn't. Oh, well. So, so she gave the samples to my wife. <laughs> yeah. Jam. Yeah. Uh, my last one is um, Aqua Allegoria Pamplelude by Guerlain. Nice. It's a, uh, it's a, a real grapefruit-type mm-hmm. smell. Really nice. One of the nicest grapefruits I have ever smelled. Smelled. It's. I mean, it's super, super nice, and um, really nice. It dries down more into vanilla and like what you normally smell, or whatever. But it's super nice. Yeah. Do you have any uh, runners up at all? Nope. That strained me to pick this yeah, one. <laughs> yeah. I have. I have one runner up. Okay. Uh, it is um, DK and Y Pure Verbena, and I'm not sure which one. I think they're all pure. I think like because they, I think it's a new line. If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong, mm-hmm. but um, it's their pure line by DK and Y. Okay. And um, they have, I believe, two or three different types. And the woman at Sephora just notated how different it was by verbena. I guess there's verbena in it. But it smells really clean Mm -hmm. and uh, a little green. Super nice. Yeah. Oh, it smells great on her. I like the coconut coconut lime verbena Bath and Body Works stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Cool. So that is all. Thanks, YouTube. Rate, comment, subscribe. Tell us what your favorite women's fragrances are, either on your lady or if you're a lady, let us know what yours are. Yeah. And uh, we'll see you next week with another non-review. We'll see you later. We're the Fragrance Brothers. See you.